It is a dicey situation for the All Progressives Congress APC as it faces an imminent split ahead of the 2019 elections. Can the party salvage this situation? And the Supreme Court cleared Senate President Bukala Saraki of false asset declaration charges. It says he is vindicated. Many thanks for joining in, everyone, on this Friday. Politics Today on, La Chan on Channel's Television. I'm Sean Kimbale at Channel's Television's Club Headquarters in Lagos. Well, let's begin tonight with the general elections. It's 224 days away. We have the updates and happenings in the political circle for you. But before 2019, Ekiti governorship election is almost here. The people of Ekiti will be voting a new governor on July the 14th. Today, we'll continue to engage the top players in the race. But the federal government has arraigned a former governor of Benue State, Gabriel Suzuam, before a court in Abuja. Suzuam was arraigned in court earlier today on three counts of illegal possession of firearms. He was arraigned two weeks after the Department of State Services, DSS, arrested him allegedly over security issues in Benue State. In another court-related story, the Supreme Court has affirmed the election of Enugu State Governor Ifai Uguai. In a lead judgment on Friday in Abuja, the court affirmed Uguai's victory and dismissed the appeal filed by Senator Ayogu Eze, challenging the election for lacking in merit. Still staying in the court, now in the Supreme Court, and arguably the most popular judgment coming out of there today or days to come is the apex court discharging the Senate President Bukola Saraki of all three charges bordering on forced declaration of assets. The court also vacated the appeal court judgment, which held that the Senate President had questions to answer on money laundering. The judges maintained that hearsay evidence held by the lower court cannot be used as proof to establish a prima facie case on the charges. In his response, the Senate President blamed his initial trial at the Code of Conduct Tribunal CCT on his emergence as the Senate President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, insisting it was politically motivated and is now vindicated. <laughs> 